Neil just suffered a, a 2-1 defeat to Halifax. It was an eventful game and a disappointing result in reflection. Yeah, no, but it, disappointing. Um, I thought the first half they put us under pressure. We knew they would. You know, they've got the the uh, big guy up front, and he was. He's always going to cause problems at six foot seven. And I thought we we dealt with it okay. Um, we were still giving them too many opportunities, especially to have seven corners in the first half. But we've weathered the storm. We've, we've come in at half time, disappointed. Try to get them going again. Um, they lose a player, keep the ball moving, be patient, and then obviously they get. You know, the, the goal from the winger went under Gregor's um, body. I can't be disappointed with Gregor's. I can for that, but because he's been exceptional this season. He's, he's made no mistakes apart from that one and held his hand up. Then bring George on, he gets us a goal, be patient, and we're going for the second one, leaving ourselves wide open. Even if they'd have had nine men, you can't leave yourself open like that after you've just scored. You've got to be patient, like we were against Solihull. Don't go gun-ho because you, you, you're always susceptible to that. And then the winger, the other danger man that we knew about, obviously gets to the byline, pulls it back, and the big man's at the back. And, you know, whether it was a good ball or not, it doesn't, it's irrelevant when you're six foot seven at the far post. You're going you, you know, to be difficult to defend against. So I'm disappointed in that respect. We get back into the game, and as I say, we just need to be a little bit more game-ready and uh, see a game out and, and wait for that opportunity to come rather than just go chasing it. And uh, like you say, uh, after responding well to the first goal and actually looking like getting a second, it, it must be difficult for everyone to, to suffer the sucker punch and, and then go again. Yeah, no, no, no. It was, it was, you know, we could see it sort of coming and we were leaving ourselves really bare. You know, we were all bombing forward and trying to get that winning goal, which of course I want, but you've got to wait for your chance. You know, that's what we did last week. We didn't go gun ho we stayed patient. You get the opportunity and we take it. We were a little bit open on there, as I say, they get the second goal, and then obviously you're going to go for it, and then obviously George then has a second chance, and the keeper pulls off from a point blank range, and, and you know, and keeps them in the game. But even at, even two two all, I would have been disappointed with our performance, especially in the first half. Second half, I thought we were a lot better. A big opportunity next Saturday back at home, big crowd, uh, the visit of Tramway Rovers. Yeah, like I've just said to the boys, you know, we are disappointed. We'll go through it on Monday, but I can't well on what we've what's happened we've got to make sure we, we learn from our mistakes but you can't have a better game than Tramia Rovers coming to you know Hayes Lane on a, on a Saturday afternoon needing points so for us I think it's a great opportunity to come back and bounce back it's gonna be a tough game Tramia Rovers you know they're in a situation where they're in they're not gonna to want to come down and, and, and not give anything than hundred percent so we've got to make sure we're ready um, might be changes, don't know, we'll come in at training and we'll have a chat about it Monday to clear the air and then our full focus will be on next Saturday, Tramia Rovers. Neil, thank you very much. Thank you.